Available with X-Ray Enterprise, Remote Job Trigger allows you and your team to trigger the execution of automated tests, as well as perform tasks like building or deploying a project to an environment using your CI CD tools without leaving Jira and X-Ray. The most common use case is to trigger the execution of automated tests. And that's what we're going to see in this video. We're going to configure our CI CD pipeline with GitHub, trigger playwright tests, and ingest the results back to X-Ray. Let's start in your Jira instance and see how to configure a remote jobs trigger. Access your Jira project and go into your project settings. There you'll find a new entry, remote jobs trigger. That'll take you to the configuration area where you can set up multiple jobs. Once you press this option, you'll see multiple configurations that you have available. Each one can be activated and deactivated by pressing the toggle next to it, but only one target tool can be used at a time. When you press the toggle, it'll activate the configuration and show the list of jobs already configured. To create a new configuration for GitHub, press the new GitHub configuration button. This will open a new form with the options needed to configure the job. The first thing to do is to provide a configuration name and make it meaningful, as it's the name that will appear in the dropdown your team members will use to trigger the job. Next, we need to fill in the repository name, which must match the repository name of your GitHub repository without the organization. In the workflow ID field, you must pass the workflow ID of the GitHub workflow you want to invoke, which can be found in GitHub's action section under the workflow name. The username must be of a GitHub user with permissions to trigger the selected workflow. Insert the URL of the GitHub API in the API URL field. Fill the branch name field with the branch name that you use. Next, the information for the authentication token can be found in your GitHub user settings, accessing the developer settings, and then personal access tokens where we can generate a new token. Name the token and make sure it has access to the right repositories. For simplicity, we're given access to all repositories. On the permissions area, expand the repository permissions and give read and write access to the actions. Once that's done, press generate token, copy, and then paste it to the X-ray configuration field. Finally, we can define parameters that will be passed to the job. X-Ray has the possibility to dynamically fill those parameters with values extracted from X-Ray entities. In our case, we define two parameters. Project key that will be filled with the project key of the JIRA project from where we're triggering the job. Test exec key will be filled with the test execution key of the test execution from where we will trigger the job. When passing parameters, we must make sure that we're using the same IDs in X-Ray's configuration and in GitHub's workflow. Looking into the GitHub workflow, we can see a workflow underscore dispatch section that has the same parameters defined in it, test exec key and project key. Looking into the GitHub workflow, we can see a workflow dispatch action that has the same parameters defined in it, test exec key and project key. Another particularity of this workflow is the fact that we're using the continue on error action to make sure that even if the tests fail, the results will be imported in the next step. With all the fields completed, you can go ahead and save the configuration. Once you've done that, you'll see a new configuration in the list. To activate it, you need to click on the toggle next to it. The configuration is now done. Let's jump into the test execution and see how we can trigger this. By looking at the details of the test execution, we can see that no tests were executed yet. We have a new button available that'll allow you to trigger the job that we've just configured, by pressing it, we can see a new window with information about the success or failure of the trigger. As the trigger was invoked with success, let's look in your GitHub repository and confirm if the job was triggered. Once the job terminates, we can check the details by clicking over it. In the details, we can see that the tests were executed and we have two passing tests. We can also see that the import to X-Ray was successful. Coming back to X-Ray, when we reload the test execution, we can see that we have the overall status updated and we see the two tests passing, and to access the details of the execution, you can check the execution details of each test. Start your X-Ray Enterprise trial today to trigger automated tests directly from X-Ray and centralize all your test automation results.